I'm Magnus Ligbeck. I'm a trainer and nutritionist and have been for more than 20 years. If you want more tips and tricks, go on my Instagram. As you might know, I do a lot of transformations with actors and artists. One thing that is many times overlooked is nutrition. A crucial part of a transformation, a physical transformation, it's not only training, it's also nutrition. Today I'm going to talk about three of my favorite tips to improve your diet. These tips will help you to lose body fat, keep or gain muscle mass, keep you mentally sharp, and give you a stable energy throughout the day. You might know that I have a training app with all my superhero programs, but did you also know that I have a nutrition guide? The guide includes healthy tips, grocery shopping lists, and daily eating plans. For as low as 27 cents a day, you can get access to all of this, including all of my training programs. I want to tell you a little bit my philosophy, how I look at nutrition when I work with someone. First of all, I don't necessarily stick to a certain diet. I believe that you need to meet people where they are. If someone's vegan, I'm not going to try to change that. If someone loves keto, I'm happy to work with that. Uh, the thing is, diets work. It doesn't mean that they're healthy for you. So you, you kind of need to figure out what works best for you. The thing that works best for you is number one, what you can sustain, and number two, what makes you feel good physically. So my first tip is to try not to restrict yourself by taking out food that you like, even though they're not healthy for you. Food is a big part of life, and I think that you should be able to eat something that you enjoy and like. So my philosophy is pretty simple. I make sure that 17 out of 20 meals are on point or healthy, and then three out of 20, I enjoy life and I eat whatever I want. I eat five meals per day, which means in four days, that equals 20 meals. Three meals in four days, you can eat whatever you want. That's a balanced way of looking at it. You don't have to have a guilty conscience if you have some pizza on a Wednesday night or popcorn with your movie on a Saturday. Let me be clear, my way is not the only way. I know a lot of people that are vegan, that are doing intermittent fasting, that are doing a keto diet, and they feel great and they look great. So you need to figure out what works for you. My second tip is to educate yourself a little bit about macros. Learn what's protein, carbs and fat. It is extremely important to know what you put on your plate, whether it's packed with energy, which is carbs or fat or protein. For me, a good lunch or dinner is about a fistful of protein, a fistful of slow carbs or good fats, and two fistfuls or more of vegetables. The way I eat is I start with breakfast, many times egg, then three hours later, I have a protein-based snack, maybe with some complex carbs that is high in fiber. Then I eat lunch. Then I do my fistful of protein, a fistful of carbs or fat and vegetables. Then I go to my second snack, which is also protein-based. And three hours later, I have dinner. So good protein sources are anything from beef, chicken to fish or eggs. If you're vegan, there's a ton of good options as well. Just make sure you get all your essential amino acids. Good examples of fat is olive oil, avocado, omega-3s, that comes from fish, or nuts. Good examples of slow, complex carbs are sweet potato, brown rice, barley, farro, and quinoa. My tip number three is to put in a little extra work when you do grocery shopping. By reading the labels, you can actually make changes. Uh, for example, you might want to switch out your flavored yogurt, which is low in protein and high in sugar, to an unsweetened Greek yogurt, which is high in protein and low in sugar. Maybe you want to switch out your cereal and buy oats and make yourself overnight oats instead. So many foods are packed with sugar. If you can make that change to lower your sugar intake, up your protein, that will take you a long way. So there you go. That's three of my favorite tips. I have many more, but you guys don't want to see me sitting here rambling for hours. So uh, we'll save those for another video. Comment below if you have any questions about nutrition that I can help you with. I hope you liked this video. 
don't forget to press that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.